I'm going to spend some time talking about a very recognized and respected organization here in the Keys. Now at Womankind, they believe that the individual of health of women contribute to the entire strength of a community. Happy, healthy women make the best mothers, the best teachers, the best caregivers, leaders, friends, and sisters. Now remember this, when a woman is happy and healthy, then everybody benefits. Kim, thank you for being back <laughs> on the show. That's I so know true. you agree with yes, that, I right, do, Kim? I do. <laughs> All right, now for our viewers who aren't familiar with Womankind, tell us what Womankind is and who goes there. Okay, Womankind is a medical health center here in Key West, and it used to just be for women, but now actually we are seeing men too. And when men are happy, everybody's happy too. It's not <laughs> that's, just women. That's so, true. Um, <laughs> so what, um, I can give you an example about who goes there, an illustration be, by who was in our waiting room today. Mm -hmm. I walked out of my office, and there were two middle-aged Hispanic women there for breast exams. There were three teenagers there for birth control. They usually come on Monday for the morning after pill, okay? <laughs> but that's okay. So, um, and then there were um, some older women there for bioidenticals. And then we had a lot of, uh, we had some yoga instructors there today. It was the, the whole spectrum. I mean, people mm -hmm. are there for pap tests, breast exams. You can come for a massage. You can come for skin treatments. You can come for beauty treatments, um, smoke cessation, and also mental health counseling. We have that there too. You offer such a wide variety of services and for a wide variety of people. <laughs> All right, Kim, let's talk about the bioidentical mm -hmm. hormones. Yes, we should talk about mm -hmm. that. And I'm so happy to say, I think the last time I was here, we were just starting that. And the bioidentical hormones are made for menopausal women who feel irritable, they feel like they don't want to have sex anymore, everything, nothing's really working the way it's mm -hmm. supposed to. So we decided to offer that, and it's very different from the regular hormone replacement therapy. It's safer, first of all, and it's really geared to your own personal body. So you get a cream that's made just for you and you put it on and um, we have had such amazing results. People are talking about it all over. They're happy again. Their husbands or partners are happy again. So it's really, it's really worked out, but it's not cheap. It's $1,000 for like four months. Mm -hmm. um, it's not cheap and that goes to show that we are not just, we do offer some free services, especially to teens, but we run the gamut. You know, we, we take care of women at full price as well as those who can't afford care. Okay. Is there any chance that the price will lower or is it going to probably stay at that price range? Um, at this point, it's going to stay mm -hmm. where it is. We're, okay. we're going to readjust it in a year and see. Okay. All right, Kim, let's talk about, right now, a photo behind me. There's a woman in this decorated bra. Okay. <laughs> Betsy! It's our superstar, Betsy Lang. And well, she, she looks like a yeah, superstar. Yeah, she is a superstar. <laughs> she used to, uh, she's our grant writer at Womankind, and mm -hmm. she is an athlete, and she also models, so she's smart and beautiful, okay. and she models for our Pinking of You event, which is um, on the first day of Fantasy Fest. It's one of our signature fundraisers, and it's taking place at the Westin. October 22nd on Monday and people are already decorating bras like you I see this bra that. rather big bra it's now a purse and a hat okay so there you go it's and uh, that's one kid. here's another bra um, these were made by Fizz mm -hmm. and she is one of the people who started this event Fizz and Flower and um, so I really hope everybody will come to this no I don't know if our viewers can see this, but this is actually a little purse. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> impressed that this is a cup, okay? A cup, yes. and it's now turned in to a purse. There you go. <laughs> and last year we had sushi. There were giant sushi bras. I mean, people are going crazy with this. It's really, mm -hmm. and this year we're going to do something different. We're going to um, have them all hanging from our new offices right on the corner of Truman and Eisenhower. Mm -hmm. So as people drive by at night, we'll have a spotlight on all of the bras that people have donated and decorated, and then they'll be auctioned off during this event at the Westin. Mm -hmm. So that is coming up soon. And I think it would just be so much fun to decorate a bra. Yeah. Like, these are fabulous. It looks it looks fun. All yeah. right, Kim. I, I hope you all come by the way. Yeah. Now, October twenty second. <laughs> I understand, Kim, that you're also doing a survey right now for teenagers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this survey. Yeah, we bought an iPad and we are going to give it away after enough teenagers are willing to take a survey. The only catch in catch in terms of from a teenager's point of view is that it's not anonymous. Mm -hmm. But um otherwise how could we give them the iPad? Right. But the reason we're doing this is that we really want to make sure that our teens are healthy because there's a lot of STDs out there and the chlamydia rate is going through the roof. You can never go by teen birth rate because a lot of things can happen between point of pregnancy and 
actually delivering a baby so you can't go by that a lot of teens are having sex whether or not the parents want them to mm -hmm. and therefore we're trying to teach them how to protect themselves if they're going to have it at least do it safely and a lot of them aren't doing it so in order to find out how to educate teens we want them to take the survey because we're effectively asking them what would you do? Would you come to Womankind to learn about birth control? Would mm -hmm. you rather learn online? What would how can we help you? Mm -hmm. And so we decided the only way to get them to answer us is to give them an iPad. Well, that's great. Yeah. And they can win a free iPad just Absolutely. by answering some simple questions mm -hmm. that you just addressed. Oh, and right we now. won't tell anybody. We're not going to tell anyone what their answers were, obviously. Okay, so. so that's good. And the website is right on the bottom of the screen if there's any teens interested in winning a free iPod and just taking a few minutes to fill out the survey. Thanks. All right, Kim, how can the community help Womankind? Well, I'll tell you, there's one really exciting thing that just happened this week. Um, aside from just sending us money, which people can always do and we'd mm -hmm. appreciate it, um, our board president, Janice Childs, um, her son, Corey Childs, is this minute embarking upon a bike ride from Vancouver to San Francisco to raise money for Womankind. And my son did the website. So the mm -hmm. two guys got together, and now there's a website. So if you go on Womankind Key West, um, dot com and then slash dude on a bike. Uh -huh. It's dude, dude on, on a bike, bike. right? Okay, and you'll see good. a picture of Corey and my son posted, you know, the map so you can follow where he is and everything and he's uploading photos. So that's one thing, um, one way that you can help us and help Corey. And it's actually in honor of Janice's husband and Corey's dad, Doug, who was a big um, volunteer in the Key West community and he died two years ago okay. of throat cancer. Um, the other way you can help us is by volunteering. If someone could come to my office right now, I'd be happy because we're making posters and we have a lot of things we need to get done. So mm -hmm. people can always volunteer. Okay. Thank you so much, Kim. Thanks for bringing the brawls, oh, too. Oh, sure. I I'm, I'm really might steal this purse from you. You can <laughs> model it, too, if you want to. Come down to the West and be one of our models, All right, Jenna. Go. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after this commercial break.